Hello, my name is Abe, welcome back to Enter the Gungeon Paradox Runs. Let's do another one. Last run we started with Super Hot Watch. Mm, probably never gonna take it ever again until we start with it again on Super Hot Watch. But, this run we start with the Pilot's Pistol, which, let's be honest, we always start with on the Paradox Runs. Feels like it was doing a lot of damage, but I guess these enemies only have three hits in them anyways with any gun. Where the hell are you going, my dude? You're extremely fast. Um, our second starting gun is... Drumroll, please. Membrane. That's really good. The Membrane, I've, I've kind of come around on a little bit. I used to think that it was, you know, one of the best guns in the game for its tier. I still think it's extremely good, but it's not... I'm, st I'm also, like, running around, like... I have Super Hot Watch still, which we do not have, by the way, HP upgrade. Um, it's definitely not, you know, a 10 out of 10 gun. I think maybe even Shot Grub might be a little bit better than this, but it is still a very good weapon that does its damage very quickly, hits multiple enemies, you can get a little bit of extra damage out of the bouncing shots or the piercing shots. Against certain enemies in certain situations, it's a 10 out of 10. Uh, you know, if I use this against the Ammo Conda, I'm probably going to be happy because we're hitting the segments of the Ammo Conda. But all that being said, it is still a good gun because it can do its damage very quickly. I think I was mentioning this a little bit on the last run when we started with the Void Marshal. The Void Marshal, even though it's doing 10 damage per shot instead of 6 damage with the starting pistols, that's with Scouter. Uh, it, it does its damage quickly because you can fire it extremely quickly. And the Membrane is similar. You can fire the Membrane extremely quickly and it's going to kill a lot of enemies before you have to reload it. I'm still doing my super hot watch movement, which I'm trying to remember to stop doing. <laughs> but you'll notice, you'll notice me kind of like doing these little circles. It's because of super hot watch from the last run. I'm still in the habit of doing that. Maybe that's another, you know, negative for Super Hot Watch that you'll get, you'll you'll think that you have it when you don't have it on your next run, you know? Because I still think I have it on this run, and I'm trying my best to remember, you don't have it. You can press less buttons. You don't need your APM up that high. Ammo per minute. Ammos per minute. <laughs> But even if Membrane is not a 10 out of 10, it's still a, a very good gun to have, as is most starting guns on a Paradox run. Unless you start with Blasphemy plus Alternate Blasphemy, which I don't think can happen anymore. It used to be able to happen where you could start with both versions of the Blasphemy, and then you're just shit out of luck if you ever get hit. Which admittedly was pretty funny, but I, I don't think I've ever had it happen to me, which is lucky. <laughs> Oh. Super Hot Watch is kind of a crutch, says Dino Caden. I mean, except on the last run, I kind of screwed it up. Freaking almost died on the last run. Partially because of my own horrible dodging, and partially because of a weird Super Hot Watch. Just don't get hit. Oh, okay, get good. Let's fight the boss. Super Hot Watch is kind of like getting off antipsychotic meds. You'll still be twitching for days. You need a little bit of time off from Gungeon in order to get it out of your system. You need to go cold turkey. Or cold trigger. Twins. At least the membrane is pretty good against these guys because it will hit multiple enemies. And, uh, you know, it's even really good against the minions that spawn in. I do wish we had a little bit better accuracy, but oh god, I thought I had Super Hot Watch. <laughs> I stood still. Um, we should had a little bit more accuracy, but we can get that in the in the future. Javelin. I would be okay using the Javelin for a little bit. It feels like I haven't had this item in a while. Or I haven't used it in a while. Let's give it a shot. Give me a key. Thank you. With that key, I will go to this room, which I think is a shrine. Green is usually shrine or gun muncher, I believe. It's ammo shrine. I really hate that, because it's like, what do I care? 
you know, it, am I gonna use the ammo shrine? No, it's literally the first floor. This is the, I'm, I have full ammo and everything. Well, I guess I actually don't have full ammo and everything. Like this is the worst time to get that shrine. Kinda hate it. Uh, we wanna go here, spend two keys, open up a chest, mahogany. It's extremely good. Very, very similar gun to the shot grub. It, it's very ammo efficient and it does a lot of damage. Can't complain. Javelin is best gun. It's a good gun. I don't know if it's the best gun. Rename Trigger Twins to Bullet Bros. And then also someone needs to create a reskin that it turns them into a Mario Bulletkin and a Luigi Bulletkin and it'll be the, the Bullet Bros. And we can give them new attacks and everything. We'll create, uh, it, it'll be part of our feature mod presentation of creating alternate versions of all the bosses. That one will be the Bullet Brothers. Balu Bear, hello, welcome, how you doing? I kind of like that idea, actually. If I remember, I would alt-tab and write it down, but I also just want to keep, keep the run going. Isn't that just a new boss? I guess it's a new boss, but I like thinking of it like a uh, an alternate version of a boss. That way you can like make it have a low probability of spawning in and then it's a little bit more fun and interesting when it happens. Lampy Brazil, hello, welcome. How you doing? Javelin and Old Knight's Flask is a nice synergy, says Dino Caden. What is the synergy? Because I do not know off the top of my head. Oh my good god. I thought there was a man in my room. It was my phone. <laughs> Giving me my Tim Allen grunt for my notification. Oh my god. Why did I ever decide on making that my notification sound effect, by the way? What kind of a fool am I? <laughs> it did scare the ever-loving shit out of me, though. Like, you know that feeling where your heart goes up in your throat? That's what that was. Because I, I couldn't really hear it for a split second, but I heard it out of my right ear because my phone is on my, uh, on my, um, dresser. Oh my lord. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, I think that was Verity's I, uh, note on Discord. I need, to, I need to make it so that my phone doesn't notify me on Discord messages, because it does, which is very annoying. <laughs> for, for this exact situation. It's like, I'll read the message later, although I need to be more active on Discord. I say that every day, I know. Look. One thing at a time. He spawned and hit me. He's such a big boy. You know what? That would be a nice little improvement on Gungeon. Have the spawn icons be relative to the sprite size of the enemy, so that that big enemy has a big spawn icon. I would love that, because it would actually mean, oh hey, this is where the big guy is going to be. Don't stand here. Why am I cursed? Oh. I figured it out. By holding Gun Soul or Old Knight's Flax, Sunlight Javelin kills an enemy makes the AoE spawn, right? I remember. That still doesn't seem that good. Unless it does absurd damage, but I think it's just burn. Like standard burn damage, which is not super 10 out of 10. Yo, the drill is really good. Wow, veteran, you suck. He might be a, might be a veteran, but he didn't expect my amazing dodging that was standing still. Space friend. Hello, friend. What's the one command with the floppy wood? <laughs> I think it's just floppy wood. I'm not gonna use wood beam though. 
I have given my reasons for not liking Woodbeam. No reason to go over them again, I don't think. Flow PP Wood. <laughs> Misspelled that one. You know, there is one negative to a weapon like the Sunlight Javelin. Because you're hitting all of your shots, or you're intending to hit all of your shots, you don't really have that much of an opportunity to find secret rooms, do you? You know, because you need to miss or hit a wall to look for a secret room. Alright, let's go and fight you. Grim789, hello, welcome, how you doing? Some things remind me of Zelda, says Lampy Brazil. What do you mean, some things? What kind of things? Hopefully not Sunlight Javelin, because that's, uh, that's a Dark Souls. Run! Dead yet? There you go. <clears throat> Dino Kaden, you've never played Dark Souls. Really? You should, it's a fun game. I don't know what type of games interest you, but uh, Dark Souls is a wonderful experience. Although, I'll say you should probably play any of the Souls games. It doesn't have to be Dark Souls. Go play Sekiro, don't, go play uh, Bloodborne, go play Dark Souls 3, original Dark Souls. It's a fun experience your first time through in any of the games. And I hardly recommend it. You know, I... First of all, I'm gonna buy the key, but... Actually, no, we have the drill. We definitely do not need the key. I remember... very clearly, the first time playing Dark Souls 1 with friends on a... on a PlayStation, you know, watching each other play and just trying to get to like the first bonfire, which took us days to do because we were so bad at the game, because it was unlike anything else that we played we had played before. Which I think was part of the reason why I think it was an, an amazing first experience, because it was completely different from anything else that we'd played we had played before. Nowadays it is getting a little bit old because it's been done to done to death, I think. Punch the microphone. But for the first experience, it was wonderful. For a new adventure in a video game, some of the most fun we've ever had. You guys hear about the fact that Kerbal Space Program is getting a sequel? Kerbal Space Program 2? That seems pretty fun. I'm a big fan of KSP and it being rebuilt to not be a complete horrible buggy absolute piece of shit mess would be amazing. <laughs> I hate that it's gonna be full price though. But Kerbal Space Program is a lot of fun. And uh, I'm kind of excited that that, that game is getting an update because that feels like a game that desperately needs an update because it needs to be rebuilt from the ground up. And it looks beautiful. The trailer from it, I don't know how much of that is actual in-game footage or how much of that is doctored in-game footage, let's say, because you can't just say it's in-game. It's in-game, you know, real-time rendered, but on a, a bank of millions of dollars worth of CPUs and GPUs. Nah, nah, nah. You know, how how in how real in-game engine is it? But it still looks beautiful. <clears throat> That's defi definitely one of those games that I should. You know, send out some some emails and emails and be like, hey, I have a YouTube channel, and you know, if you uh, went, if you put Kerbal Space Program in early access, you know, make sure you put me on your list of people who you're you're looking to give keys to, <laughs> so I can get a free key for it. Spelunky Two. I am very much looking forward to Spelunky Two as well. 
Spelunky 2 will be a game that I play a lot of. So look forward to that if you look forward to that type of game. Why is Blobby Lord glowing? Ah, Grim. Yeah, Sunlight Javelin. You'll notice it on a few enemies. If it doesn't kill him, it makes him uh, burn, but it's supposed to be electricity, but it's actually fire damage, I think. Like, the burn damage is negligible, but at least it's, you know, something. <clears throat> Excuse me. Ah, I'm not like particularly phlegmy or anything, it's just that it is still allergy season, so it is still a little bit, uh... A little bit, um... Sinusy. One day I'll fix you so that you're not just extremely easy on, uh, on turbo mode. Knife shield, a key. Well, we definitely do not need a key. If we buy knife shield, we will need keys. So I think I'm just gonna stay with the item that we have right now. We might as well put our crest here. We've done a pretty good job of not getting hit on the floor so far. Bloodborne is only on only on PS4. I know it's sad. Oh god, I thought that was gonna hit me. I don't know why I thought that the lightning trap was gonna hit me. Oh. I always forget what room this is. Gunjutsu. I, I guess it's floor three that has the rooms that have snipers on platforms off to the side. This one has the, uh, the two plus five room. <laughs> you like the synergy between Gun Soul and Old Night Flask, it adds bonfires to the shops. Really, what, is, what does the bonfire in the shop do? Because I've actually, I don't think I've ever seen that synergy. Like, I may have seen it, looked it up, and been like, oh, I don't care. Because I don't often take Old Knight's Flask these days. What? Oh, hello! What the hell? Where did he come from? W does... Okay. This is a bulletkin behind. Or not even bulletkin. It was a bullet shark. Da dun. Da dun. The bonfire can respawn you when you die instead of beginning at the, at the beginning of the floor. Ah, that's pretty good. I hope it's uh, it's a reusable thing as well. Mr. Jogger! Hey, thank you for the resub. Hello, welcome, how you doing? Mm. I don't need anything from the shop. Let's go. Look, electrical burns are a thing. Maybe that's why it's not electricity. It's fire. I mean, I think it's just because they didn't add in another damage type. You know, I don't think it's necessarily that they didn't put it put in a, a new damage type on purpose. I think they just didn't do it because they're like, ah, eh, we'll just reuse the fire. Or maybe they were going to and they forgot or something. I don't know. Or maybe it's supposed to burn, because, I mean, it is sunlight. By the way, you do not have Super Hot Watch. So easy to get out of bounds in Skyrim. Isn't there, like, a speedrunner's trick where you can, um, you know, this Skyrim spoiler, you can get to the Thalmar Estate? That's like a late game thing by jumping your horse over a, a wall. Some bullshit like that. Fire? Fire. I think so.
Oh no! I, I, I can't buy the, oh no! Oh, what a shame, oh. Horses have ungodly powers to climb things. <laughs> in Skyrim they do, in, uh, in The Witcher, you'll freaking fall off your horse and die if you try to do a jump, <laughs> or climb a mountain. You probably need to get hit twice, let's be honest. <clears throat> Excuse me, Omega Weapon, hello, welcome, how you doing? Alright. Well, we're gonna be fighting the old king on this one, I suppose. <laughs> I guess if we're talking about Bloodborne and chat, you know, this is a pretty Bloodborne-y guy. I guess he'd be more Bloodborne-y if he had, like, tentacles coming out of his head. It'll be an Eldritch Abomination of a Bullet King. You know, that would, might be a pretty good uh, alt skin. If we have Bullet Brothers, then we can have some Cthulhu King or something. <laughs> Caliber King! King Caliber! Boom! And you know what? Instead of it actually being a, uh, like a Cthulian-esque thing, maybe it could be like King Cruel, <laughs> but it's King Caliber or something like that. I don't know. Look, I'm spitballing here. More HP. Finding secret rooms. You know what? We're not using the keys for anything. That seems like a pretty good option. And now people in chat can be like, Yo, Abe, you're an idiot. There's a secret room there. You saw the dude. And I'll be like, I don't look at the dude. I can notice the cracks. I always know... Well, not always, but I often notice cracks. I always seem to forget about the actual guys pointing out the walls, though. So let's see if I can actually pay attention this time around. Dead yet? Thank you. Does anyone know anything about the fourth Slay the Spire character? I don't think so, but... Honestly, I have no knowledge of it, and I kind of don't want knowledge of it. When the fourth Slay the Spire character comes out, I kind of want to be surprised. I don't know if they're going to release it to beta first, or they're just going to release it to the main game, but I really hope they just release it to the main game, and then all of a sudden it's out and everybody is like, whoa, there's a new character today. I'm okay with them telling us when it'll happen, because then I can actually, like, plan to play Slay the Spire as soon as it comes out and try to be, like, the first video up on it, which is not going to happen at all, but... <laughs> In theory, it'd be fun. Maybe, like, the day after I can have, like, my first run is this guy. The Magician. The... Uh, 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 um... I don't know, I can't really think of any good classes that I think would be in the game. Space friend almost killed me on that one. You guys wish that there were backgrounds for all the characters? I kind of like that it's just an existence. And you don't know anything about their existence, because it, it does give it a, uh, a certain sense of mystery that's really fun to try to figure out on your own. Oh god! I thought the room was over, but there was another room. Another wave. We just had a lucky key spawn. Don't steal my javelin. Okay. 
You think the Ironclad caused the downfall of his clan judging by the Tesseract event. Yeah, stuff like that. Having, like, an event give you a... a little bit of text that you can interpret, that's pretty fun. I don't often, you know, do theory crafting about stuff like that in games, but... I am fully in for other people theory crafting as much as they want, and I think it's fun to have that kind of stuff in a game. Yes. Wow, 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 wow. You want to see their pasts? Oh god, so like a Gungeon thing? You uh, defeat the heart on Ascension 20, and then you have to like defeat themselves in their past or something? <laughs> or you get like another fight? That'd be cruel. Cruel, I say! I don't want another challenge. Weed Whacker. Weed Whacker! I'll spend a key on it. Ugh, I'll take it, but... Eye patch is defi definitely not what you want to see. The thing is, it's pretty good with perfect accuracy weapons like the heroin and the javelin, so it's not that bad for us right now, but it's definitely not what you want. What do we got? Ring of chest vampirism, chest teleporter. We're not going to be destroying any chests. Kind of feel like you just go heart holster. Not for the HP, but for synergy potential. We don't need flare gun. Against the boss, we're probably just going to be using Composite Gun and, uh... Maybe Sniper. Big Iron's pretty good, but Big Iron's going to have very low accuracy now thanks to the... freaking Eye Patch. God, I hate the Eye Patch. It's like, it's just that, do you really need... an item that makes it harder to aim? but it's a very small damage upgrade that isn't as good as other damage upgrades. That's what I don't get about it. Yeah, damage upgrades are good. Yeah, it's 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 a nice item to have, but do you really need it to have it lower your accuracy? That's just rude. Also, I'm creating a lot of fire, which is not worth it, because this guy is immune to fire, but, uh, you know, here we are. <laughs> I was also about to say at least we have an ammo upgrade, but we didn't have that ammo upgrade apply to this gun. You know what though? This is not the first time I've had this happen, where I've had composite gun against the old king. I'll be honest with you, I don't care. This guy sucks, I will use every advantage I can against old king man. Alright, what do we got? What do we got? I have to fight for it, what? Oh, I was gonna say, there's one enemy spawning in. No, there's actually more. Turn off the weed whacker. And there he goes. Should I, I actually do know the lyrics to most of that. Take me out to the ball game. Take me out to the crowd. Buy me some peanuts and apple jacks. I don't know if I'll ever come back. Cause it's Cause it's root, root, root for the home team. Something, someone caught a pop fly. <laughs> and it's one, two, three strikes are out <laughs> the old ball game. Cracker Jacks, not Apple Jacks. Yeah, well, you know, Cracker Jacks is a limited trademark of the Cracker Jack Corporation, and I don't want to get fucking sued, so from now on it's Apple Jacks. 
Here's the thing, if it's Apple Jacks, it takes on an entirely new meaning because that's just a type of whiskey, so. Is it whiskey? No, I think it's something like just unique, right? Although I could totally see someone like having a, a box of cereal at a ball game and just being like, I'm hungry, so what? So zoomy. <laughs> Apple Jacks is a registered trademark. Yeah, but you don't know if I'm referring to the cereal or the, or the, the, it's not bourbon. I think it is whiskey. You know, there's ambiguity in there. You've never been to the baseball game says Grim. Honestly, I've never been, never been either. I did used to play baseball in like Little League. I wasn't very good at it. Um, I never had any amazing plays or anything. I was really good at soccer though. That was the thing that when I was in, uh, I think I think it was middle school. My school had a uh, a few different like middle le middle school league. Uh, sports and one of them was soccer and I was just really effing good and the year after I had joined they cut it because there weren't enough people interested to sustain it because I went to a very small school so we ended up not having a team anymore which was very unfortunate because I really enjoyed soccer how would my life have been different if uh, Abe Clancy had been a world-renowned soccer player? The world may never know. Man, the spread on the membrane is crazy. <laughs> the lyrics, take me out to the ball game times 10. Take me out to the ball game. Take me out to the ball game. Like that, right? Isn't Apple Jacks like an apple and a thing of cinnamon? Or do you mean the cereal? I don't know. What did I hit? I think I killed a rat accidentally. I was very worried. I do love that at least with the damage upgrades we have right now, we are just killing everything. Get out of here, rat. Soccer explains my love for Rocket League. <laughs> you know, you would think that except I, uh, my favorite game mode in Rocket League is actually Snow Day, which is hockey. So, is it really soccer or is it really hockey? Okay, so middle, when this thing is up and out of the way. Then, top. And then this one, from the top position, you just shoot at the middle, I think? Yep. Easy enough. I'm learning on this one. <clears throat> what was my soccer position? I, um, I think I was defense. But I do remember that when I, whenever I played, Everyone else was really bad, and so in certain situations I was actually, like, being extremely aggressive on offense because no one was, like, challenging me for the ball and stuff like that. And, uh, you know, I'm pretty sure that there's some, like, offsides rule rules involved there for if this was, like, a real um, soccer match, but, yeah, you know, I, I, I remember taking a shot on a goal at one point, and I was supposed to be backline defense, <laughs> and it's like... No one's stopping me, you know, no one's challenging me. At all. I just took the ball up and no one freaking cared. Maybe I was doing it wrong. Maybe I was, uh... Offsides. And I shouldn't have been, I don't know.
I was too young to fully appreciate the rules, but I do know that it uh, was a support that I liked and that there wasn't enough interest to keep it, the program going, which is very unfortunate. As a European, this talk upsets me. <laughs> what upsets you specifically, Noble John? No bell, no bell, no bell, no bell. That's the lyrics, right? Come on, come on. <clears throat> that one, comedian, the longest you ever jumped in track was nine feet. Is that far? That guy's jammed. Luckily, he's on fire, though, so he's not gonna buff anything. Probably more than I could jump. How long is nine feet in glazed donuts and bald eagles? <laughs> oh, in glazed donuts per bald, bald eagle. He didn't say meters, he said feet. You know damn well what a foot is. Oh, that I'm calling it soccer instead of football. Understood. Although I suppose I could call uh, American football football. I, I, mean, I guess I could call it American football, but I, yeah, I could call it football and I could call uh, international football football. <laughs> <laughs> that might be a little bit more understood, honestly. Uh, back when I was playing football. Mm, what the heck are we going to use here? Let's use the Particulator, because why the hell not? Hey, Cannon Man. Should definitely be swapping out to a different gun. Oh, I didn't use a blank there. Probably should have. It's not like we have the rat key or anything, but good practice. I like to call it. Really wish you had no DPS cap on you, my dude. At least I can do a, a bit of damage when you appear. I don't know if those things actually hit, though. Was he invincible when he spawned in? Well, he should be dead. Mm, got him! Football used to mean just any sport played on foot as opposed to a horse. Interesting. Um... I guess here we just want to do this. It's like spawn in a whole lot of particulator shots and then try to kill them. Worked out nicely. We've got some good items, hungry bullets. The Cup of Christ, Cup of Caliber, more like it, and uh, it should give us a lot of ammo back on our, on our run if we ever take damage, ha ha ha, because we're just so good, right, ha ha ha. Let's pop these blanks. I have not been looking for secret rooms, I don't even know if we found one on this floor, honestly. Right? Forgot about him already. We'll open this one, which means this one's just going to have a, a red heart in it as well. Might as well lock or uh, drill this one. I was gonna say lock pick. It's the wrong word. Angry bullets, very good with sunlight javelin. We have a chance at having the shot bounce off and hit multiple enemies. Uh, not so good for particulator because for particulator you usually just want it to explode as soon as possible. But it's still pretty decent. I, I will definitely take a. Uh, an angry bullet. It's it's a fun item. I don't know how it works with membrane though. 
you know, let's hope that the membrane shots... Yeah, I don't know what I hope with the membrane shots, because you do get a lot of value out of the piercing shots with them exploding into more bullets, but how's that gonna work on crowds that aren't just, like, behind themselves, you know? I suppose the right answer is it just doesn't matter, because you just use javelin for everything, and then you're happy. I see him, I see him. So be honest, how many people saw the dude in the last floor shop before I did? Be honest with me. Bouncing Bullet's laser gun is also, or laser rifle is also pretty good. Well, angry bullets. Might as well. <clears throat> My old position in soccer was was quarterback. I wasn't very good at dribbling. <laughs> I'll be honest, I um, I have a bit of a problem, a fundamental problem with basketball. I, I don't really like the idea of a sport where you can get hundreds of points and yet you can still win just depending on who scores first, you know? Like, in basketball, let's say the score is 170, no, no, it's probably not 170. Let's say the score is 110 to 111, you know? And there's one minute left on the clock. That's a pretty close game, right? So you're at, it's gonna sell it later. Um, you're at uh, 60 seconds left on the clock, you're up by one. The other team scores, they're up by one. You score, you're up by one. They score, they're up by one. You score, you're up by one. Like, I have a fundamental, disrespect for the game where it can just flip-flop back and forth so easily and then it's just a matter of who actually got you know the winning score by the the time the clock runs out you know you just have to like time it it's it's less about which team is better and more about which team timed their their score better so that you can actually uh you know, don't give the other person, the other team, a chance to, to make a comeback. It it just feels wrong for some reason. Like I know that that happens in other games as well. I mean, a big part of football, American football, let's say, is that you. Uh... Oh my God, I'm taking a buttload of damage here. You want to. Ah! Score with as little time left on the clock as possible so that the other team doesn't have time to uh, run it th across the field, but in basketball, when the score flip-flops so much, Team A's in the lead, Team B's in the lead, Team A's in the lead, Team B B's in the lead, Team A won it! You know, it's like so anticlimactic, even though it's supposed to be very, like, it's supposed to be very uh, adrenaline rushing because you don't know who's gonna win, but it's not like, it's not a fun way of handling it, I don't think. Like, I have a problem with that type of a scoring. It's not that... It's not that it's because the score is so large, it's because it can flip-flop so easily. It's because in basketball, scoring a, uh, a basket is something that happens every, you know, 20 seconds. And it's it's like not as clear cut who the 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 best team is. I don't know. I, I'd much prefer it to be a little bit more. I don't know what. I think a buzzer beater is anticlimactic. I think that a buzzer beater is a poor way of of seeing which team is better. You know. Oh, they they won by one because they beat the buzzer. You know, replay the game and are they gonna, you know, win again? Who, who the heck knows? It could go the other way just as easily. It feels in like an inconsistent victory, maybe. 
Or maybe I just haven't thought about it as much as, uh, as I should, and maybe it make, makes perfect sense if you think about it, and for some reason Abe is off of his GD rocker. Which is also possible. Because I'm just bullshitting while I'm playing Enter the Gungeon right now. <laughs> we got our familiars finally. All three of them. Also, LJ is starting to piss me off a little bit. I wanted to pick up Finished Gun because I wanted to either sell it or um, gun munch it. I just don't want... Right, I can fly. I just don't want to see it in a future run. I mean, that's whenever I pick up this item 99% of the time, that's why. I just don't want to see it again. Finally dump it. Like, at, by picking it up and selling it, it's not going to show up for two floors. Or two runs, rather. So, you know, get out of here. Take that. Might as well take Elephant Gun. Although it does synergize with something that I was not paying attention to. And let's fight the boss using the... Light Gun, because we'll have dogs. Take two. By take two, I mean uh, I have an opportunity to flawless this guy because we didn't last time we fought him. All right, this seems like a pretty good opportunity for that doesn't hit for at least a couple of these. And also, the fire is doing damage to the boss there, which is why I decided to do that. Yo, good job. <clears throat> we get Demon Head. We get some BS. And I think we're just gonna go down to the next floor, although... Let's be honest, we can sell some of these guns that we have. Do we really care about wood beam? I mean, you know, not really. I'm just freaking dump this one. Get it out of here. F. 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 Kind of want to sell uh, elephant gun, but we'll keep it. We'll keep it for the time being. And we'll get the hell out of here. Next floor. <clears throat> okay. I think we should probably honestly continue using Sunlight Javelin. It's a gun... Oh my god, he spawned really close to me. Also, we can fly. It's a gun that I... I probably have a habit of using infrequently because it's good. But this seems like a pretty good run to use it on because we've got, we picked up the gun extremely early in the run. And also, we have a pretty good synergy with it with the fact that we have uh, angry bullets. And pretty damn good damage. And because we have the eye patch, but this is a perfectly accurate gun. You know, we can we can in theory kill a couple of enemies with a bouncing shot, and that's exactly what's happening. Gotta love it. It's a weirdly good gun for our situation right now. Like that just killed three enemies accidentally. That's awesome, I love it. Okay, I hate that. Getting surprised from the back. At least get the 50 piece. that guy spawned from. I guess that um, that bulletkin, he spawned as part of the reinforcement wave and I just wasn't paying attention. <clears throat> Sudden death overtimes. I... I, I kind of like baseballs. Sudden, uh, not sudden death, but I like I like baseball's method of ha handling overtime. Each team gets an inning, and then each team gets another inning if the score is still tied, and it just kind of keeps going for, you know, a, a, a certain number of innings before it's declared a draw. 
But sudden death does feel a little bit unfair if one team has an advantage. And in American football, you know, one team has an advantage if they get the ball on a sudden death overtime. Right, we're drilling. Might as well pop out a couple of Particulator shots, you know? It's not likely to kill on its own, it looks like, but it might get an enemy weak enough that they'll die to a bouncing shot from this. Excuse me. Pick up. <clears throat> 517 cases. Dino Kaden, I am one rich MFer. In Gungeon, not in real life. Donk. <clears throat> Just as I could see it working better in international soccer instead of American football. Yeah, because it's a little bit more fair in soccer where anybody could take the ball at any point in time, but in American football, the offense has the ball for a certain number of plays, and then they can they give uh, the ball up to the other team. Really? There can be a secret room up here? I had no idea. Thank you for at least pointing that out, my friend. Oh, crap. What did I stun? I'm stunning my fucking turtles. <laughs> also, we got the same gun twice because it was a mimic. I was wondering, I was like, what the hell is going on here? Why am I, why am I, uh, my hookshot's not actually functional? <laughs> I was stunning my own turtle! Oh, lord. Also, uh, we have gold amulet, by the way, which means... Yeah, this is now a speed run. Yeah, this seems really good. Um, so we're just gonna buy ammo for this gun before we leave the floor. We have two familiars that blank, we have gold amulet, we have a gun that does a lot of damage, and now kills enemies on a room when it hits a wall, which blanks and, you know, gets rid of all the bullets on the screen. This should be an easy victory at this point. We can even be pretty, uh, lenient in our composite gun usage here because it does a lot of damage and we're getting the effect out of gold amulet from it and from the familiars so like we are crunching the hp on this dragon right now yeah this run is broken right now and that's why i saved all that money and we still have 200 credits remaining because everything gets Expensive as shit in the later game, doesn't it? Ah, oh, yeah, I forgot. Blanks have reduced effect here. Bye, turtles. There we go. Baseball unlimited innings is fine because it's not as physically demanding. Except for your pitchers. They fucking wear themselves out. That is a uh, that is a physically demanding job. And because of the rules of uh, of pitchers, it's um it's hard for pitchers to go ex uh, lots of extended innings. Because I, I believe how it works, and I actually have no idea, but I believe how it works is once you you uh, swap a pitcher out, you can't swap them back in. So you only have a, a limited number of pitchers that you go through in a baseball game. I believe. You're too far away from the blank effect, my dude. Yeah, you run out of anyone who can pitch, and then you're just left with uh, one pitcher who's like, I just want to go home! <laughs> I didn't sign up for this! This is cruel and unusual punishment! <laughs> I'm out of blanks. 
Actually, no, I literally have two. I was gonna say, I was out of the blanks from the, uh... Uh, out of the free blanks from the uh, composite gun, but we need to go get some ammo for that. So, ammo, composite gun, let's do it. We have a new room clearer. <laughs> uh, we bought everything we could from this guy, I think. Yep, just armor, we don't care. Although the armor is a blank, but I'm just gonna buy Morningstar because it's fun, and we're gonna be using composite gun as a room clearer, so Morningstar can be a replacement boss killer. Tennis has a similar system to something. I don't know what Tennis' system is. I don't know anything about Tennis except for some reason it's scored in 15s. <laughs> Which makes no sense to me. Why is Tennis scored as like 0 15 or 15 love or whatever it is? Just 0 to 1, 0 to 6. Why? Why do they score it in 15s? Can you get partial points? Can you get 15 and a half? Can you get a half bonus point from like a, a penalty? What is the point? Answer me that question. Can I do Oubliette Abbey and Rat in the same run? Or are you saying if it can be done? It 100% can be done, yes. In fact, I did everything except for the rat this run just because I didn't want to slash didn't have enough money. I guess didn't have enough money. We had 114 instead of 115, so we couldn't do it anyways. But you can do you can do every bonus floor in Gungeon. On a single run if you want to. The hard part is actually getting enough money to do the uh, the rat. Everything else is is relatively straightforward. I mean, I guess you could say the hard part is making sure you don't freaking uh, lose the uh, the old crest. That that's a hard part. It's not the hardest part, I don't think. Also, I don't know what animal that was. It definitely was not a uh, elephant, though. You're not dead? No, you're dead. Oh, it's so nice to have good crowd control of the crowds. Ow, you piece of garbage! That's why I need like a bigger summoning indicator on the ground, because I don't know what, which enemy in this room is going to be the one that spawns the freaking large, uh, I was going to call him a Reptomancer, that is the wrong em enemy. <laughs> Although it kind of, kind of looks like it a little bit. Large Revolvenant. Because he's a, he's a piece of crap. That's what he is. That was the wrong direction you want to hear. You gotta be careful in baseball because you can freaking get hit by a very fast moving heavy ball. And that shit pro probably hurts. Probably hurts a lot. Why do you think they wear those helmets? I pushed him into the explosive barrel, and it was completely accidental. And yet, I want to claim it as intentional, because it was so cool. You also hate it when the Reptomancer randomly spawns in bur bullet hell. <laughs> in bullet hell. Times three damage minions. Ah, oh, it's basically a shotgunner, right? Really, it's the same game as Slay the Spire when you think about it.
We are just making a mockery of bullet hell right now. And we are done with bullet hell, so it's boss fight time. Let's use a gun we haven't used before. Uh, I got I got an idea. I wonder a target locked. I want to like try to keep it right behind him so it looks like it's hitting him from behind so you can still see his sprite getting hit by the laser beam but it's hard to aim while also trying to dodge. Throat singing didgeridoo. <laughs> Never actually like heard a didgeridoo except for um, Rats Down Under, whatever that freaking Disney cart Disney animated movie was. Rescuers Down o Under, that's what it is. Rescuers Down Under. Because that takes place in Australia, I think. Or is it New Zealand? I don't want to mix the two up because I'm pretty sure anyone from New Zealand, New Zealand is probably annoyed at people thinking that they're Australian when they're not and they're New Zealand. Kill the lich with the didgeridoo. I can't. I can't do this for too much longer. Oh my god. <laughs> All right, lich is dead. Let's get the hell out of here. It was a good run. Um, we had some pretty good synergies. Angry bullets combined with the lowered accuracy was actually really good with on my javelin because it, it, it is a perfectly accurate weapon just like the heroin mega hand and some other weapons as well so you don't have any accuracy downgrade you are perfectly accurate so we only get the damage upgrade from it we do a lot of damage we were killing multiple enemies sometimes I believe this is also a run in which we picked up the uh, curse shrine for damage so we picked up some more damage that you can't even see here. And then at the end, once we had that shop that gave us the frickin' gold ammo lit, combined with two familiars that blank and the composite gun, we just basically sped run through bullet hell. So that was a wonderfully good run. For those of you on YouTube, thank you very much for watching. Like the video if you've enjoyed it, subscribe for more. Check me out on Twitch for one of the lives. Support me on Twitch, Patreon, and Streamlabs. And I hope to see you here again for the next run of Enter the Gungeon.